Hi, this is Adam, Golf One and Zulu Hotel Delta. Uh, this video is about how to use uh, MMSS TV. Um, not just how to set it up, there's a number of videos online at the moment that can tell you, uh, shows you how to, to set uh, the um, uh, getting it working with your radio. All I want to really show you is how to use it as far as uh, the templates are concerned and how to set up ready for transmitting. Uh, one thing I will cover though is just uh, very quickly what we've got on the screen at the moment, which is uh, I've currently got it on the RX tab. What that tab's showing you is anything that has been received at this point in time. History is your last pictures that you've received. And if I scroll back, you'll see that there's a number of uh, pictures that I've received recently. Uh, of variety of uh, quality. Uh, it will also show you the timestamp of, uh, of when it was received. Okay, so that's RX and history. We then got TX, which is a screen that you want to uh, transmit at any point in time. One thing I'll notice and the reason for this uh, video is that I couldn't really find how you edit this. It was finding it very difficult to, to use, uh, simply because I didn't know how to use it and there weren't any uh, YouTube videos on, uh, available to, uh, to show you how to. So hopefully this one will, will help you. So as I say, that is the screen that you for selecting when you're ready to transmit. And then you've got this one called template, which allows you to edit the screen. What we've got uh, below this is some pictures that I've already loaded and templates of the wording that you want to put over the top of them. Uh, MMSS TV comes with a number of defaults but I decided to edit them once I actually worked out how to do so. Just very quickly um, uh, there's a little tab here that says show with templates. When I was loading the photos in I just switched that off just to get the pictures in that I wanted. How you get those pictures onto these windows is you go to a blank window, you right click, you select load from file and then you select the place where you've got the photos that you want to load onto there. I just created a local folder and threw a load of pictures into there simply because uh, to make it easier to select them for showing on this video and uh, when I want to make changes uh, going forward in the future. So by selecting any of these, let's try again, load from file, double click on one then comes up with this window for editing and clipping and uh, etc I'm not going to cover this at the moment we've got rotation here uh, etc uh, but uh, if you do want to manipulate the picture before it goes into the window uh, then this is uh, where you can do it is limited uh, but there is a, a bit of functionality there anyway then select OK it then pulls the picture into the window. So as you see I've already got uh, this picture in here so if I want to remove any I do right click again, I delete and it disappears. So uh, any of the default pictures that are in here uh, if you want to get rid of them then just right click and delete. So once you've got the pictures in there you then want to uh, uh, put the wording on them. If you then go on to S templates. This is where you can start selecting the templates and editing them, editing them as you wish. Some of the templates have got uh, automatic um, call sign um, and date, etc., commands in them. Uh, if I, uh, I don't I think I've removed most of them, um, but you'll see. Oh, here's a good example. So you'll see there's a uh, a some code in here percent M which means my call sign 
and uh, it, you get your call sign from the settings that you've uh, you've pre-programmed into uh, MMSS TV. Um, there are a number. Of, there's an explanation here of, of what these codes mean, and you can put any of them in as you like, and then it automates uh, filling them up. Uh, I found really for 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 my call sign that it's often easy just to enter your own call sign de directly in here as text. Um, I'll keep it that as that for the moment. Uh, as you'll see, it shows you what the text looks like. Uh, you can put um, shadowing in if you wish with multicolors. I've decided to keep it as simple as possible at the moment until I get used to using the application. Uh, also, I found if you are sending a picture and it is uh, a poor signal, the more bold that you make the text, the easier it is for it to be received. So even on weak signals, um, you can usually uh, pick out what people's call signs are if they've kept it relatively, uh, uh, relatively uh, big and bold. Again. Uh, other things in here are making the font bold uh, and uh, uh, there's, there's more functionality in here than I've uh, come across um, myself and or felt the need to use at the moment. So you can be quite creative with it but uh, I've decided not to be and certainly not within this video. I might create some other videos later on to uh, uh, help uh, manipulating it. Right so I'm going to select OK. So yeah, and as we go through, you can uh, enter uh, additional text on here by using the uh, text tool, uh, draw text, you click on it, it then gives you a cursor, you select where you want the text, it comes back to this window again, uh, then you can enter um, uh, what um, uh, information you want to include on there. Uh, was a work all Britain uh, locator, whatever, whatever you want to put on there. You just select it, OK it, and it appears on the screen. As you see, yeah, white on white is not a good idea. Uh, you can change this if you want to, uh, just by double clicking, and then here selecting from the color palette what color you want to uh, use instead. Just OK it, it gives you the colour, it gives you the text, and then when you OK again, it changes it. Okay, again, not a good colour, but never mind. What I'll do now is I'll just go and delete that text. Oh, yeah, one thing I haven't showed you if you do put some text in there, let's just OK that again. Yeah, by moving the edge of the box, you can change the size um, to uh, smaller or bigger than. Uh, it's not unless until you get the hand that you can actually move it around. So just be wary of that. It's, uh, you can get a little bit fiddly until you get used to it. Right, I'm going to delete that. Um, other things you can do in templates is you can uh, put in um, just a draw, uh, draw a picture or just put a, a box at the, to the back of it to make the text stand out. Um, and that's about it really. That's all I'm going to really cover on this, uh, on this video. So once you've done that uh, manipulation in your template, um, yeah, what you, what you can do is if you do change this template, when you want to move the template into, this, into these windows, uh, it's a simple case of uh, left clicking and holding down and you drag and you drop and it saves it there so just remember uh, yeah, where you want the template uh, against for, for which picture because of course it will, it'll be different uh, if you click on the S picks now and then you click on show with template it brings a template in so if you've got a photo there and a template uh, it will show them together so I want to delete that template, so I simply right click on it, select delete, and then when I go back to, oh yeah, one thing is it doesn't automatically update it between the tabs. So when you want to uh, update uh, uh, to see what the changes are, just undo the tick, 
and redo the tick and he puts the templates back and you see it's deleted the one that I had there before. Okay, now we can save uh, the templates. Um, I think if you go on to S templates, right click and then save to file and it saves as an MTM file. So just rename it to, to what it is that you want or overwrite I'm going to do at the moment and then save replace yeah because i'm overwriting yes okay so then you can save those templates um, uh, to a file and yeah, on this screen you can if you want to i don't know why you would want to but you could save the file uh, the pictures again uh, if you pull the picture in from somewhere else and you want to save it or you're running out of space then uh, just want to save it somewhere else i suppose you can do that Right, so that's it really, that's uh, all I wanted to cover in this uh, video, um, it just to give you some idea of, of how to manipulate, manipulate those pictures ready for sending. Uh, I suppose one last thing to do is uh, when you uh, want to uh, get ready for sending, all you need to do is just double click on the picture that you want to send. And then when you've got your radio set up for uh, sending, uh, then all you do is then click the TX button and, and it will start sending it. You'll know that it uh, is starting to send it because you'll see that the line along here is coming down the screen. Um, also, if you've got the monitor on on your uh, uh, computer, oh, sorry, on your radio, um, or you've got the audio on your, uh, on your computer, you'll be able to actually hear it sending it and at any time, uh, point in time, if there's a problem, you can just hit that TX button and it will stop doing it. Um, but yeah, otherwise just wait to the end and it will automatically come off when it's, uh, when it's finished transmitting. Uh, as far as modes are concerned, again, it's something we share, I'll probably show in a, another uh, video, but for the moment, I just use audio, auto and I usually use um, Scotty 1 or Scotty 2 and um, or if somebody else is transmitting in a particular mode, I often transmit back in that same mode. Um, just a, a matter of uh, courtesy. Okay, uh, if you have any questions or want me to uh, cover anything else, then please uh, add it to, to the bottom, uh, put it on the comments. Otherwise, um, have fun with uh, manipulating your pictures.